13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. Happy Monday to you. I'm Ross DiMatte right now with your 13 Action News Update. A mother who stabbed her six-year-old son as many as 25 times before being shot and killed by an officer was suffering some type of mental breakdown. That's according to new details just revealed by police. That deadly shooting happened in late 2019 at a Henderson apartment complex. The boy called 911, telling operators his mother, 37-year-old Claudia Rodriguez Mendez, was trying to kill him. That boy did survive. Investigators say the officer's interaction with Claudia at the scene and text messages from, uh, found from her mother showed concern for her well-being. We are continuing to make more progress on slowing the spread of COVID-19 in Nevada. State health officials are reporting about 200 cases since yesterday, and our seven-day average is now 263 cases. Just a month ago, it was 681 new cases per day. Three new deaths have also been reported since yesterday, and our test positivity rate is now lower than 7 percent. It's getting very close to the desired 5 percent from the CDC. Local home prices hit a new record high last month. That's according to a new report by Las Vegas Realtors. The median price of existing single family homes was $355,000 in February. That breaks the record set in November and tied in December and January. February's median home price is up more than 12% from $316,000 during the same month last year. LVR says while sales increase, the housing supply just keeps on shrinking. A windy start to the week as a trough of low pressure slides across the southwest that eventually brings us much colder conditions, but the mild temperatures hang out through your Monday night and a clear sky gusts to 35. Tomorrow, gust speeds to 40 miles per hour. By Wednesday, highs fall 10 to 15 degrees below average with an isolated rain chance. Thanks, Danny. That was your 13 Action News update, and you can always find the latest news at KTNV.com.